Alright, so I figured I'd record a quick little tutorial on how to upload an avatar with a toggleable object. Um, for this example, I'm going to be using a, um, a badge for an upcoming VRChat convention. So, what you're going to need to get this started is Unity, and then whatever Unity version that your avatar needs. Most of them require 2018.4.20 uh, F1, but whatever your avatar creator recommends, that's the one you should use. You're going to need the avatar that you want to add the object to. Uh, whatever shader you need, most of them use Poyomi Tune, but some of them have different shaders. So once again, uh, make sure you have the right one. Uh, VRChat SDK. So there's only two options of that. There's the SDK3 and the SDK2. So if it's a 2.0 or a 3.0 avatar, you use those respectively. VRChat SDK2 for the 2 and 3 for the 3. And Dynamic Bones. Other than that, it's uh, pretty straightforward. So we're going to go into Unity, create a new, um, new project. We're just going to call this one Tutorial and create it. Uh, for the sake of brevity, I'm going to cut out any time where there's a long length of loading. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so now that Unity's loaded, the first thing you're going to want to do is put in your SDK. That's always the first thing you do. So just import that, and that's going to do its thing. Alright, and now that that's done, the next thing you're going to want to do is either dynamic bones or the shaders. I don't think it matters. Some avatar creators recommend uh, dynamic bones before the shaders, uh, some vice versa. So it doesn't really matter. I like to import dynamic bones first. It's just a personal preference thing. I don't think it really matters that much. And then your shaders. All right, and then after your shaders are installed, you want to bring in your avatar. Uh, I'm going to be using this one. This one is a purchased avatar, so it is a 3.0. Uh, just going to drag that in and import it, just like everything else. And then you wait. The The longest part of all this process is the waiting. All right, and now that your avatar is added, you're going to want to add the object that you want to add into the, uh, the scene. So whatever object you want to add the toggle for. So in this case, as an example, I'm using a badge. So then you're going to want to find your avatar. And if it has these two options, the prefab or the uh, so the one with the Unity logo, I believe that's just uh, a scene object. I'm not, I, I, I'm not really familiar with terminology. Uh, if it has this uh, Unity icon, you want to use that. But if it has the prefab, then you want to just drag that into the scene. But because I have the prefab, I'm going to uh, click uh, click it. Um, you won't get that pop-up if you just do that the first time. So, from here, what, were you, what you're going to do, you're going to uh, open up your uh, avatar inventory. And you're going to want to find where you put the uh, item that you want to uh, attach. So in this instance, it is the badge. And then you're just going to drag it into your avatar inventory. It'll spawn right at the bottom there, right at the feet. And then from there, you're just going to size it. Uh, we're going to make it big enough for everybody to see, like, good. And then it, this is just a tutorial, so it doesn't have to look great. It just has to be, you know, visible. Uh, we'll do it like that. That's perfect. Look at that. So from then on, you're going to want to open two tabs. You want animation and animator. I'm going to close them for now so I can show you how to open them. So you're going to want to go to window, animation, animation, or control F6, or window, or as well as window, and then animator. Oh, just control six. My bad. Don't hit control F6. I don't know what that does. <laughs> I don't use hotkeys. Um, so from there, you're going to want to um, do a couple things with the badge that I would recommend. Uh, add component, 
parental constraint. And then from there, you're going to want to uh, lock it in position, add a constraint. So we'll use spine for this. And then active. Oh, unlock it. So because it did the thing that I didn't want it to do. And then we'll just uh, put it back to where it was originally. Once again, this doesn't have to look great. But, uh, you know, I'm sure yours, you're going to want it to look all well and good. This is fine enough for me. And then just lock it in position. So there we go. Uh, all this is good. So now it'll stay with your avatar. So from there, you're going to want to go to your avatar uh, animations folder, if it has one, hopefully. Then you're going to want to create three things. You want a um, an, an animator controller, uh, parameters, and a menu. So for to create these, if you don't already have them, you want to go uh, right click, go to create, VR chat, avatars, expression parameters, and expression menu. You want both of those. And then down to animator controller. So from here, you're going to go into parameters. And we'll call it toggle badge. You want to make sure it's set to integer. Just like this. Then from there, you're going to go to your menu, wherever you want to add it. I have three, or I have two different menus. So we're just going to add it to this one. And you're going to name it whatever you want. Toggle badge. Uh, icon doesn't really matter, uh, set to toggle, parameter, toggle badge, make sure that's set to one, and that's that done. And then from here, we're going to go, uh, to the animation tab. We're going to start making your animations. So what you want to do is you want to, um, create a clip, title it, whatever you want. Uh, in this case, we're going to call it, uh, uh, toggle badge on. You can see there's a couple folders where you want to save it. I like to save it with uh, where everything else is located. So save it there. And for this, what you want to do is you want to click on the badge and then go over to the, the right hand side here and click this little check mark at the very top. What that's going to do is that's going to hide it. And from there, you're going to hit record on the, uh, on the animator. And then all you're going to do is just recheck that uh, box there and then stop recording. Then you're going to click on the keyframe, control C, click on the next keyframe right over, control V, and that's it. That's your uh, toggle on animation done. Now you want to click over here on the toggle badge on and then create new clip. From here, you're going to call it, we'll say toggle badge off save and then now you're going to do the same thing just reverse so it's off right now so we need it on record and then turn it off stop recording click the keyframe control z sorry control c i said c but my uh sounded more like i said control z don't do that uh then go over next key, uh, keyframe control v simple as that your animations are now done so from here I'm gonna go back to project and then wherever your animator controller is so for that that's this one here it's gonna double click it I'm gonna go to parameters add integer toggle badge I brain farted for a second layers and then you're gonna add a new layer same thing, toggle, badge, and then click the little cog here, and then make sure the weight is turned to one, otherwise it will not work. Then from here, you're just going to uh, find wherever your animations are stored. This is why I like having them in the animations folder. It just makes it easier. You want to find uh, toggle badge off and bring that into the, uh, the layers. You want that first, so that way the off position is the default. And then toggle badge on. Bring that in. And then from here, 
it's quite simple. We're just going to make transition to the on state and then make transition to the off state. You want to click the transition between off to on, add a condition, and then toggle badge equals one. Then it'll turn it on. And then for the on to off, you just do the opposite. Toggle badge equals zero. And that'll turn it back off. So from here, uh, I'm pretty sure that is it actually um now you just want to go into your prefab just turn it off just because and you want to check to make sure you have a pipeline descriptor uh you have a pipeline manager you want to detach it because if you don't it'll require you to be logged into whatever account previously um uploaded the avatar and if you had just purchased this, or if this is a fresh um, instance of a purchase avatar like this one is, it's going to be the creator's account tied to it. And even if it's your own avatar that you just did, uh, detaching it doesn't really, it doesn't hurt you at all. It's a, just another two second step, really. And you're going to want to go to your VRChat SDK, show control panel. Builder, then all everything that says auto fix, you want to just click auto fix until build and test and build and publish for Windows highlight. You don't have to go any farther than that. So once that's done, I would recommend building and testing first, so that way you can make sure everything works properly. If it doesn't, you can quick easily come back and check it. So you're going to click build and test, and then you're going to wait for the progress bar to be done. All right, so um, once your loading is done, you'll see a test avatar built. So from there, you're going to want to just click OK, and then you're gonna to want to hop into VRChat and just test it, make sure it works. So we'll do that now. All right, and then once you're uh, in game here, I recommend starting it on desktop. So that way, once you start up the game you don't have to take off your headset to continue the rest of the steps so from here you're just going to go to your avatar settings or your avatar locations and scroll down until you find a tab called other you'll see an sdk and then whatever your avatar name is it's going to click that click change nobody else will be able to see this avatar other than you you click and you're going to press r to bring up your uh, toggle menu expressions whatever sub menu you put it under and then toggle badge. And as you can see, it spawns in. I can move around with it. It's stuck to my chest. Then you can turn it back off. So now I will uh, jump into Unity again just to show you how to finish uploading it. And then uh, after that, we'll hop back into Unity after showing the upload and show you how to uh, delete avatars as well. All right, so we're back in Unity. And... The process for uploading it is going to be very similar. Once again, uh, just make sure that your uh, pipeline manager uh, is detached. Um, once you upload it as a, uh, a test, I believe it attaches your ID, but I would still just detach it just in case. And then just build and publish for Windows. And like I said before, the longest part of this whole process is just the waiting for the upload time. So, uh... You'll hear from me again once it's done. All right, so from here, you're going to want to give your avatar a name. So we'll just call it tutorial. And then make sure the above information is correct. Just for the sake of it, we'll bring the camera down to get a picture of the avatar. So there you go. You can see it's got the badge on it. Um, then we're just going to click upload. And then once that's done, we'll hop back over to VRChat and I'll show you uh, where to look for your avatar. And once we're done that, we can come back and uh, show you how to delete them. All right. And once you've done that, you'll see the uh, uploaded content. So we'll hop over to VRChat and I'll show you where to look. All right. So we're back in VRChat. So all you want to do from here 
it's just to do the same thing. Go into your set, uh, your menu, avatar, and you want to look at my creations. It should be the newest one. Uh, my avatar is a robot right now because we deleted the test avatar. So all you're going to do is click tutorial, change, or whatever you named your avatar. And then just to verify once again that it still works, R, expressions, menu, toggle badge. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now uh, back to Unity. All right, now we're back in Unity for the final time. Uh, in order to get to your uh, avatars, if you want to delete them for whatever reason, I recommend deleting the test avatar just because you don't need it anymore, at least doing that anyway. And I also just don't like clutter. So what you want to do is you want to go to Content Manager, scroll down, and you're going to want to find your test avatars. Just click Delete. And then also uh, whatever avatar you don't want, it's going to click delete on that as well. And that's it. So um, in the description below, I'll link all the links to everything that you need, as well as uh, uh, my Discord link, uh, should you want to chat uh, to me if you have any questions. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's, it's pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. Uh, it. It used to take me like half an hour just to do one toggle, but now I'm at the point where I can do it in about five minutes. So um, if you need any help, yeah, just feel free to shoot me a message. And I'll do what I can. Right, see ya.